This is a uh, work, uh, it's a part of my PhD uh, final work. Um, it's about uh, the conflict between Menger and the German historical school. I'm an Argentinian historian, so I'm here to the name of the historian to apologize to Menger for our reaction. Uh, so first I want to say that the complexity of the theoretical divergences on the field economic require an analysis that addresses internal heterogeneity. The redundant traditions of thought has complex and flexible entities allowed in the field economics to analyze the theories and their configurations. In this sense, this work aims to offer some epistemological and theoretical elements to understand the method and straight. The Rolodon proposed conceptualism uh, supposed guide and principles, but these principles always in the right way. Let's see. When this assumption generates uh, a degree of general, general acceptance, they are really abandoned in the face of the emergency of evidence or empirical observations that contradict them, that is, at the time of evaluating theories, the role of negative empirical evidence does not acquire a significantly relevant weight. Following Slaughter's logic, the data will not be decided when providing a sufficient basis of unequivocal choices between sets of government assumptions. In the sense, the tensions between theory and empirical observations leads to a crisis where the normal science fight itself and stands and stand still. It is worse face, face it with impossibility of providing philosophical solutions, the paradigm is abandoned and replaced by another that can solve the problem of object. This is called the scientific revolution. However, in the field of economic theories, the applicability of Kant's proposal has become somewhat difficult due to certain ambiguities around the concept of parting on the one hand and the emergency of economic sciences on the other. In the production of economic theories, there is a group of authors who try to approach progress in economic science from the Cunian foundations. In a certain sense, there is a time where limited because of the modeling limitations of the functioning of the parliament for the social and human sciences in general. However, post empiricism's contribution to the history and philosophy, philosophy of science acquire a considerable utility to time for uh, elucidating the theor theoretical debate in a discipline as a heterogeneous and complex economics. Loden proposed the concept of reserved traditions. Traditions are constituted from the constitution of group of specific theories that generate a certain metaphysical, epistemological, sociological, and methodological combinement. This, Sorry to interrupt you. One yes. moment, please. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Uh, the central element, its understanding is that traditions have a longer life than theories and that they also suppose as a self of the theist within them. On the other hand, the conception about the vision of reality represented throughout theories require a journal of postulates and evidence that have been formulated in a significant period. This point of contact that converge in values and principles we find the, sur the surface. In this way, the existence of theories within the tradition can be evaluated in terms of effectiveness they are required to solve problems. Specifically, the author maintains that this problem is school acquire two edges. The first them is related to empirical evidence about some objects, and the second is framed in the conceptual difficulties that derive from certain contradiction of, of theory. Either is in internal sphere or in the debates between and other scientists scientific principles. In the field of economic sciences, tradition of thought that are configured with graded acuity during the 19th century and that welcome the different theories of economic thought. I believe that three traditions of thought would share guiding, share guiding assumptions. 
a national interventionist, a marching socialist, and a liberal. This tradition of thought have not been without controversy in their internal and external spheres. To a certain extent, the multiplicity of theories in the field of economics is related to the insufficient typically of problem solving mechanisms and their correlate in the sociological com commitments acquired. The stories of economic thought have emphasized the highlight in the inter theoretical debate that is between theories of different thought tradition. But we have to re research that intra theoretical debate developed within in tradition. Of course, when faced with the evaluation of theory, the scope uh, of the debate must be analyzed jointly since both shapes, by affinity and oppositions, the progress in the traditions. In the inter theoretical field, the role played by tradition and their theories within the discipline under cooperations above all because of internal tension of later. Generally, this is a certain preponderance of tradition of thought that throughout one of its theories generates and generalizes consensus in the discipline because of the real sociological commitment to ability to solve problems. And a favorable context and influence is not, is not surprising that theory is raised that seeks to challenge the, no, the dominant theory for another tradition of thought. Within the tradition, on the other hand, we can see that many times tension of the own arise within the limits of the tradition, without the community of tradition being divided because this difference. For its part, within the intra-theoretical debate, it is essential to show a large part, large part of these tensions are relating to empirical problems of a potential nature that is those that still await some time of solution and those presented an anomalous since they are not solved in a theory. Thus, when finding the most competitive theory in solving problems and therefore has a greater explanatory scope. In this sense, the supposed rules of the tradition may partly distance themselves for their, their identity. Lodan distanced himself from the proposal of Kuhn and Lakatos regarding the persistence of a, of a nucleus throughout the existence of parallel of research programs. Certain variations in the identity of tradition will not mean its end or its abandonment since it's difficult for it to remain constant and homogeneous in the long term. That is why the continuity of the nucleus is approximately, not absolute, allowing progress within the tradition. The method and trait have been a process that is traditionally characterized as a dispute between Gustav von Schmoller and Ken Menger for the applicability of the inductive and deductive method, respectively, for the social sciences. This perspective of reduced scope has a strong projection in a group of authors who argue that the method and trait is a dispute that only affects the method. In turn, within the recent productions, a group emerges that believes that the debate on the method was destined to the field of economics and derivatively other social sciences. After all, there are predictions that border the restrictive perspective of the debate, above all analyzes in a contextual element. It is believed that it's necessary to problematize again the debate and discuss and redefine this scope. The debate between the Schmoller, representative of the younger historical school of economic in Germany, and Karl Menger, founder of the Austrian School of Economic, did not only involve a debate on the method for the social sciences. I understand that the debate represents a profound convergence of many dimensions in political, economic, social, and philosophical matters. In this way, it is argued that the conflict can be understood throughout um, two moments in the logic of tradition of thought. On the one hand, the strictly methodological conflict between Schmoller and Ken Menger, and the other, an expansion of the dispute around the philosophical and theoretical debates uh, about historical relativities, axiomatic regularities, social evolutionist, anthropological conceptions, theory of ethic and justice, and economic policy between Menger and the German historical school. These moments, on the other hand, are a manifestation of the theoretical and methodological disputes within the framework of opposing the tradition of thought. These tensions operate in two levels. On the one hand, in the, in the reaction of the German historical 
uh, school to the postulates of the classical system of political economy, and on the other, particularly since the publication of Principles of, of Economics, with the, uh, the debate between the younger German circus school and Menger. Ultimately, with the postulates of the liberal tradition in Austria, the German historicists saw their theoretical justification for Bismarck's Reich interventionism is danger. I borrow Janet Busserman's concept of war of ideas from the Austrian school, particular in, in its origins. Menger's feat is truly memorable. He conformed to a new theoretical system within the liberal tradition, and for this, he has to deal the postulate inside and outside his tradition. For in an intra-theoretical debate with the British classical system, and it's impossible to conduce a theoretical political economy, and second with, second with the method and street, can be understood at the beginning of their intra-theoretical debate. And that is the first manifestation with the dispute between Menger and Schmoller, but it was the beginning of a long series of conflicts with other academic and theoretical, and theoretical mainstreams throughout the 20th century. In conclusion, the history and philosophy of science is highly complex field of analysis, particularly due to the similar nature of the various disciplinary fields. In this sense, post-empirism has allowed throughout the sociology of knowledge possibilities to analyze complexity of economic sciences. Particularly in the discipline of uh, political economy, three traditions of thought can be identified, a nationalist, a, a social Marxist, and a liberal. These traditions, depending on the context of production and the function, have a certain preponderance in the disciplinary fields without, without reaching an hegemonic place. In this way, the debate between the theories of different tradition, what was called inter-theoretical debates, was very useful to evaluate the basis of the same and put their identities to the test. On the other hand, within the traditions, different moments of a school of thought can also be visualized synchronously when evaluating the verifiability of the theory within the same identity of thought. In the sense, this perspective of traditional thought can help us to reveal the method and straight out a complex phenomenon that transcended the mere debate of methods. Being a dispute of traditions, Menger put the mainstreams inside and outside the liberal tradition in check with his brilliant work. Thank you. Thank you. For your presentation, uh, Mr. Kovalan, it was wonderful. And uh, starting the time for questions and answers, I would like to ask if there are any questions from the public. Okay, I, can I ask you something? Yeah, of course. We talk a lot about uh, empiricist and uh, theoretical approaches, the difference between Austrian and neoclassical schools and economics. But there's something that, uh, I don't know, keep, uh, I keep in my mind that is there any, uh, we talk, we also talk about um, an economic free of values, no? Free of values and morality, just science. But can we talk about science, social science, when we make an interpretation of facts uh, different from physical science? And without values, without morality, what's the place of morality in social science for you? Well, uh, particularly in the method and straight, uh, and particularly between the, in the works of von Schmoller and, and Menger, uh, the morality and the ethical conception was a really important issue. Uh, maybe that, uh, that scope of, of the debate uh, are, are relegated because uh, the, the author focused on the, on the method, methodological conflict. But Menger, in one of the short uh, uh, production after the, the, the elements of the social sciences in uh, 1883, uh, he discussed seriously about the ethical conception in political economy and the ethical conception from the German historical school that was in, in the first sense polemical. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Any other questions? I think uh, we have passed the time, so <laughs> thank, thank you. you so much. And now,
we will, let me see the program here. Uh, we will have the presentation of uh, Mrs. Natalia Conti and Mr. Daniel Pereira. I think just you are going to present, okay? They are uh, from Catedra Alberti, another Argentinian, uh, and is entitled, Menger Arrives in Mendoza, the Psychological School of Economics. 